Hello everyone, it's me Demetra K and I hope you're having a great day. So we are starting to see quite a few things manifest from the massacre that happened in Buffalo where Patron Gendron walked into a Topps Friendly Market and shot 13 people, ultimately killing 10 black people. Now there's a correction officer by the name of Gregory C. Foster II who is now suspended without pay due to the following Facebook post. Clean up on aisle three, no wait four, also seven, nine, 12, and 13. Then he also goes on to say too soon. So his superiors did not like that. And it should also be said that Gregory worked at Attica Correctional Facility in New York, and he has worked there for almost 25 years, but his superiors had this to say about it. The comments made by this correction officer are despicable, stand in violation of multiple department rules and will not be tolerated. This vile posting does not represent the morals and values of the thousands of staff members in the department. The individual responsible has been suspended without pay and DOCCS will be seeking termination. The department has engaged the Civil Rights Task Force, which are members of for potentially criminal prosecution. The department has also launched an internal investigation to identify and discipline any staff who may have engaged with the posting. So they're saying they are having zero tolerance for anyone mocking what happened there in Buffalo, New York. But I will say this, we aren't surprised that correction officers act that way. In fact, we know that they do. In fact, they are just as bad as the prisoners that they're supposed to be watching or monitoring or, or correcting or whatever they do, right? And so when I said things are starting to manifest, we're starting to hear about 911 operators hanging up on people calling to report the uh, massacre. We're hearing about this correction officer and a whole bunch of other stuff that's starting to rear its ugly head that we in the black community have been talking about for a very long time. It's so good. Hopefully, Gregory loses his job really quick and he's out there looking for another job since he thinks it's funny to mock the fact that black people were murdered in cold blood by an unapologetic white supremacist. So good for him. And maybe he'll go work in a grocery store where he can actually do some cleaning up on aisle three, four, nine, and 12, and then take out the garbage and he should hop in it himself while he's at it. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and think about becoming a member. I would love to have you here. Peace.